Paul Pogba has vowed to fight a four-year doping ban that threatens to signal the end of his playing career. In a week that started with Pogba sharing dinner with high-profile celebrities Idris Elba, Trevor Noah and Tommy Fury in Dubai, the France World Cup winner was on Thursday facing up to the possibility of never playing football again. The 30-year-old tested positive for DHEA, a banned substance that boosts testosterone, after featuring in the opening game of this season against Udinese on August 20. Sources close to the situation have told Mailsport that the positive test relates to a set of pills prescribed to Pogba by a US doctor. The tablets were prescribed to the former Manchester United star at the end of November 2022. Pogba was instructed to take the supplements, made by a US firm, after blood tests identified certain deficiencies in his body. It is understood the fact he was advised to take the tablets on medical advice has formed the basis of Pogba's defense in his efforts to avoid a lengthy ban. Pogba released a low-key statement yesterday in which he confirmed he would now take the case to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. However, despite the seemingly composed nature of his comments, Pogba was said to be irate at the length of the ban, the maximum penalty Italy's anti-doping court can impose, amid a belief the punishment is disproportionate with precedent. In 2022, UFC fighter Bobby Green received a six-month ban from the United States Anti-Doping Agency after testing positive DHEA. In 2018, the Brazilian forward Joao Pedro, of Cagliari, faced a four-year ban after testing positive for a diuretic. Pedro insisted he had unwittingly consumed contaminated food supplements and eventually saw his suspension cut to six months.